please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. Like I said before, after they beat the Phoenix Suns, the stands are twerking around, shaking their ass, pour honey in their butt crack and on their tummies and licking it off each other, knocking everybody's drinks down. Joke made by Dreamers Pro. The reason why I say it, because that joke is so funny. First time he said that, I couldn't stop laughing. That was absolutely hilarious. But well, we all know they doing that right now. It's funny. My last video about the Lakers, when they beat the Suns, none of them, none of these little stands came to the channel. Hmm, interesting. Because actually, I had nothing to say about bad about LeBron or the Lakers. Maybe that's why. That's the only time they come and run. Maybe you say something bad about that king and queen, king slash whatever he is, that French made king. Just, here they come in droves, saying the same old thing. Like they ain't got no other thought other than saying, oh, LeBron, LeBron got more money than you. LeBron got more money. That's all they ever say. But, anyways, stupid ass insult. It doesn't even make any sense. The reason why it don't make any sense because LeBron has more money than any of us, including your ass. Stating the obvious. Try something new. But anyways, the Lakers are 3-0 in the season. They beat Timberwolves, who ain't the same Timberwolves. They beat the Suns, who they always split with anyway. And then now they beat the Kings, who really don't are not proficient in defense. I don't even think they ain't proficient in defense this year. This this season so far, I tell you, I think people are trying to hype up this season so far, and there's nothing to hype up over. There's nothing to hype it up over. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. This season so far has been boring, more boring than watching. Okay, this season so far has been more boring than sitting at Home Depot on a Saturday morning as a kid. You remember the mornings? I don't know how many of you suffered this. You ever remember in the mornings you had to wake up around 8 o'clock, your parents dragged your ass to Home Depot, and you had to sit there and look at paint samples all day for four hours because they couldn't decide? Yeah. Yeah. All you had to do was look at appliances and hardware all day for two or three hours at, at Home Depot or even Lowe's. Um, for me, it was Menards. I don't know how many of you guys are from Milwaukee out there on my channel, but um, it was Home Depot, Lowe's, and then Menards. Try being in Menards, another hardware store similar to Home Depot, for three hours looking at paint or looking at wood. That's how boring the NBA season has been. And I think it's been worse than watch, doing that, spending three hours in Menards. So I don't know where people are getting all this hype from, talking about, oh, the season has surprised me so far. This se No, this season has been boring. I ain't even paying attention like that. Only to the Lakers. I don't even want to pay attention to my own team. Because the only, thing gonna, only thing they're going to do is disappoint me. Like they do. They lost to the Nets. You lost to the Nets. A team that's not destined to go anywhere. How do you lose to the Nets, Butts? But anyways. So, like I said, Lakers are now 3-0. and But you know the reason why, the true reason why they 3-0? and And he'll never get his respect. This is one of the reasons, puzzling reasons why I don't understand why he was trying to hold out to go there, but he ended up going there anyway. You know the reason why the Lakers are three and all because Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is now uh, playing. He's been unleashed, and now they can probably oh, oh, that's because that's because JD Reddy he didn't have to do anything. Anyways, The Lakers are three on those, standing on top of the Pacific standing so far. But I also wonder how long this is going to last. Because, you know, Anthony Davis has never played 82 games a season. And uh, for the past few years, when he gets injured, he gets injured. So that's my question. 
But the biggest problem is, will he get that respect? Who knows? We'll never know. Because he's the reason why they're even this good. But they talked about, yeah, look at it. I'm looking at this headline right now, uh, ESPN. I'm looking at it right now. It starts off with saying LeBron records a triple double. And then it talks about Anthony Davis scoring 31 points. How about Anthony Davis is leading this team to victory? And then LeBron adds his easy ass triple double that he probably, it was so easy to get because he don't play defense no more. Anthony Davis is leading this team in points, 34 points a game, 37 minutes, and shooting 57 percent from the field which is not really surprising if you're at the foot of the basket then yeah I'm not saying it's nothing less than that but I'm just saying you should be they finally on uh, Anthony Davis is finally being unleashed but you also know what else is going on here that I just realized let's see here Minnesota they play Minnesota on Tuesday right that was a home game. They played the Suns on Friday. That's a home game. And I think they played the Kings at home. That's a home game. They haven't even traveled yet. They haven't even left the state of California. They haven't even left the city of LA. LA County. These fools haven't left anything yet. They haven't traveled yet. So that helps. You're just a hater. Yeah, you one of them haters. Oh, I'm a hater. I've been stabbed in the heart. I'm going to melt. Shut your asses up. Act like that's supposed to hurt me. I'm a dedicated hater. What is that going to do to me? Nothing. I'm still going to be here showing the same energy. Yeah, they 3 and all. We'll see how long they last. We'll see how long they last. Play three teams. One team that don't got the same team no more. The other two teams are basically teams that don't play defense at all. We'll see. Who they got next? Who they got next? Oh, they got the Suns again. Monday night. But out here in the land. What do you call this place? The Valley of the Sun. I was going to say the land of the Valley of the Sun. That don't make sense. In the Valley of the Sun. And then they played the Cavs. East Coast game. P Raptors, Pistons. What the? Raptors and Pistons are going to beat. Cavs, they might have some resistance. Grizzlies, they might have some resistance. I'm looking at their schedule. Outside of probably the Suns and Kings and Timberwolves, probably most likely to be playoff teams, maybe the Cavs too. Uh, I don't know. Some of these teams are lukewarm. But we shall see. We shall see. Some of you guys also said that this might be all in the script. Shoot, they could be listening to our videos. Oh, we going to teach them. We going to teach them. Oh, <laughs> we going to teach them. They think we going to be some suckers this year? Oh, we going to teach them. We going we gonna to tear up that old script. We going to write a new script when the Lakers are going to win the championship. Lakers win the championship this year. Hmm. I don't know about that well. They can get there. Then, like I said, Minnesota ain't the same. Denver ain't the same. There's too many young teams. They did. Lakers definitely got experience. If they continue this route of letting Anthony Davis lead this team and still letting Lapocalypse do it, then yeah, they possibly can. Now, as far as winning it, I don't know. Can they beat Boston? Time will tell. Time will absolutely tell. Somebody has to challenge Boston because I think Boston's going to get back to the finals again because the Bucks are garbage. 76ers are an injury ward and garbage and soft. 
New York Knicks. They ain't there. That's it. Orlando ain't ready. Cleveland definitely ain't ready. So it's going to be the Boston Celtics back in the finals again. Indiana definitely ain't there yet either. So we just try to find out who's going to challenge the Boston Celtics coming out of the West. And it possibly could be the Lakers. If Anthony Davis keeps himself healthy, plays all 82 games, which is not going to happen. But if he does keep himself mostly healthy for most of the season, yeah, they can. It is what it is. They over here talking about we moving the goalposts. No, that's what y'all do. You know, the stands move the goalposts every time you get defeated. Y'all not even fans of the Lakers. Y'all fans of him. Fake ass Laker fans. But anyways, Lakers are three and all. We'll see how long that lasts. Let's see if they keep their winning ways. Or let's see, midway through the season, everything just flips on them. It would be the first time a team that looked like they was going to do something, yeah, the uh, script flipped. And the next thing you know it, they ain't in the playoffs. It's happened plenty of times before. Plenty of times before. But anyways, whatever. You didn't defeat me because there's nothing to defeat. <laughs> Either way it goes, I still win. I'm winning. I'm winning any yeah. motherfucking way. I can't lose. Because LeBron, like I said, even when a fifth ring, you still won't be on Kobe's level. You still won't be on Jordan's level. So, especially now, the jig is up. We all know how much of a fraud he is. And like I said, I don't think he's really that good. I don't think he's on Bird's level. I don't think he's on Magic's level. I don't, and we all know he ain't on Jordan's level. He definitely ain't on Kobe's level. Shoot, you lose to Monty Williams. You lose to Monty Williams. But Carmelo beat Monty Williams, but you can't beat Monty Williams? Compared to all those guys, even Carmelo, his game is trash. Facts. But anyways, don't run away from these facts, Lestans. Your boy is trash. And congratulations to Anthony Davis. Keep playing the way you do. You know, I don't want, well, I don't want the Lakers to win because of the stand, because you know, because you know what that would turn into. Lakers win this year. Anthony Davis will not get that respect once again. He's just been like, yeah, whatever. It's all about LeBron. But anyways, enough of my rambling.